Hi, my name is Linda Lindquist. I'm a nurse, and I'm here today with Nicole Killian, who is also a nurse. And we're here to talk about why nurses should oppose recombinant bovine growth hormone. It's a synthetic hormone, also known as RBGH, and it's linked to human and animal health problems. Nicole, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, I am a registered nurse. I currently work in a cardiac surgery ICU. I am also a member of a professional nutrition organization, and I have attended their conference for the past five years, and I'm also the mother of a baby. Very nice. Tell me a little bit about what RBGH is. RBGH, which as you mentioned stands for recombinant bovine growth hormone, is also known as RBST, recombinant bovine somatotropin, is an artificial growth hormone which is injected into cows in the United States in order to increase milk production. So this growth hormone extends their lactation period. All right. Are there any problems associated with injecting cows um, with the RBGH? Yes, there are. Uh, as nurses, we're all familiar with the educational inserts that come with medications. This is what patients use to read on the medicine, see mm -hmm. what side effects, what possible interactions there are. Well, the same thing happens with the RBGH, which is a veterinary drug uh, produced by Monsanto Corporation. And this educational insert lists 16 different possible side effects that the cows mm -hmm. can suffer from, including reduced pregnancy rates, low birth weight calves, uh, increased somatic cell counts, increased diarrhea, and increased mastitis. Quite a few issues there. Now, is the mastitis in cows anything like mastitis in humans? Yes. The mastitis is a painful inflammation of the breast tissue caused by a bacterial infection. And just like a mom would go to her doctor and receive a prescription for antibiotics, the cow with mastitis also receives antibiotics, such as penicillin, amoxicillin, uh, erythromycin, and these veterinary antibiotics are similar and in some cases exactly the same as human antibiotics. All right. Bringing up the antibiotics, there is a lot of issues today in the news around the rising rates of infection rates. 